So you've set up your Roland electronic drum kit and you've been messing around for a minute, but you're not a big fan of any of the sounds. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can load your own sounds into your Roland electronic drum kit. What is going on everybody, Nick Costa here. And in this video, I am going to show you how you can load custom sounds into your Roland electronic drum kit. This was definitely one of the top questions that I received in the comment sections of all of my Roland electronic kit setup videos. So I figured it's finally time to show you how you can do this. Now, before we dive into this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. That way you're notified of any additional content that I upload to the channel. Now, as you can see, I am not in my usual space. I am in one of my classrooms within the school district of Philadelphia, where I have a Roland TD-17 electronic drum kit. Now, this is one of the higher end kits that we have here within the district and allows you to customize the sounds of the kit. So let's talk about those custom sounds. Obviously, all Roland kits come with a ton of preset sounds that allow you to customize some of these drum kits that are already programmed into it. However, you might be downloading drum samples from maybe your favorite drummer or your favorite company who is making sample packs and you wanna have your own sound. Now, in order to do this, you just need a Roland kit that has an SD card reader in the module, like the TD-17 does, an SD card, as well as a computer with those sounds you're looking to load. Now for this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can load sounds using some drum samples that I created with my friends Mike Weiser and Steve Angelo, which is of my acrylic drum kit, as well as a few of my snare drums. Now for the shameless plug, you can purchase these sounds and I put a link in the description below. So first thing you wanna do is turn on your sound module, Okay, so now that the Roland TD-17 sound module is turned on, you'll see it's set to the default kit number one. What you wanna do is take an SD card. I have a 32 gigabyte SD card, which will be just fine. And you will see that you will insert it on the left side of the kit. So if you look over to the other camera, you wanna make sure that that notch is actually facing to the right. It'll go into the SD card slot and you push it in until you hear it click. From there, on the top left corner of the module, you will hit setup, go down to SD card, hit enter, and then you go down even further to SD card format, hit enter again. This menu will say, hey, it's gonna clear all data from your SD card if that's what you wanna do, which is what you wanna do. So you'll hit execute. It'll say, are you sure you want to do this? You hit enter again, processes. Once it's complete, it'll let you know, and then just goes back to the default screen. Now from here, you are going to remove the SD card simply by pressing in, and then the SD card actually slides out. And now you can take this SD card, which is formatted to your computer to load your sounds. Okay, so now that the SD card has been formatted, the next step is to actually transfer the sounds from your computer to the SD card. So in this case, I am using a MacBook Air, which doesn't have an SD card reader, which is why I have this adapter that does. Simply take my SD card, insert it into the reader. Once I do that, you'll see that TD-17 pops up. That is the SD card itself. Now, when you open up the SD card on your computer, you will see that there are three different folders, import, record, and then Roland. The import folder is where you are going to load your sounds. So in this case, I'll go down to my sample folder here, and I am going to take all of these sounds and I am just going to select all the folders and drag them in. Now, as this is loading onto the SD card, you may notice some of the names here, but the samples that I have are my acrylic drum kit, which is a 24 inch kick drum, 13 inch rack, a 16 and an 18 inch floor tom. Then there are also six different snare drums. Four of them are from my Ludwig collection. So my eight by 14 Black Beauty, 5.5 by 14 heirloom stainless steel, 8 by 14 split coliseum, a 5 by 14 superphonic, and then two of my solid shell MCD percussion snare drums. One is a 6.5 by 14 solid Clara walnut, and the other one is a 6.5 by 14 solid beechwood. Okay, now everything has loaded into the SD card, so we will close out of the windows, take our SD card, and just drag it down, eject. Now we can go back over to the Roland kit and load the sounds. 
Okay, back over at the sound module of the kit. So take the SD card, insert it into the side of your TD-17 module. Once again, press it in until you feel it click. Now you can start loading in your own sounds. So you're gonna go over to where it says user sample. You will then go to menu. And then where it says import, hit enter. Now you will see all of those folders that we imported into the SD card. So in this case, let's go up to the acrylic kick. We will select. Now you have all of your different sample sounds. Now with this sample library, we did five different sounds at different velocities. So you're going to get five different sound samples for the loudest, which we labeled extreme. Then you will see five samples for hard, five samples for medium, five samples for light, five samples for ghost. After that, you have your stereo room sounds in case you wanna load in some stereo room microphones. And then you also have mono room sounds as well. Now the really cool thing is you can preview the sound before you import it. So you can select one of the samples and hit this preview button right here. We scroll down to say hard. Once you find the sound that you like, we're gonna go with number four. You hit select. Now one thing to keep in mind is that I've already loaded sounds into this. So if I scroll down a little bit further, start to see some of those blank spaces here. So what you wanna do is find a blank space, hit execute, it'll ask if you're sure, hit enter, and it will start loading that sound into the module. So let's go ahead and import a snare sound since we did the kick drum. You can hit user sample, then you're gonna to go to menu, hit enter because you're importing a new sound. Now you will notice it opens up the folder you were just in. In this case, all the different kick drum sounds. Hit folder up, that brings you back to where all those folders are. Now there's already a Black Beauty imported into this. I did it earlier. For this demonstration, let's go with the Heirloom Stainless Steel because this drum is one that you need to know about if you're unaware of it. So let's go ahead and select, let's hear some of it. That's one of the extremes. What if we go down to hard? It's got some body to it. Yeah, let's go ahead and select that sound. Down to the next space, execute, enter. So let's import a rack tom sound. So we'll go down to acrylic tom one, hit select. Let's sample some sounds. What does hard sound like? I'm somebody who likes to hear a tom resonate a little bit. I don't like them to be super punchy and direct, which when I was hitting at the extreme velocity, they're still resonating, but they decay a little bit faster. I like that sound. So let's select it. We're going to move down to the next space, hit execute. And then we're going to hit enter, starts loading that sound. All right, now let's move on to the floor toms. Again, hit user sample, go to menu. You can hit enter to import, hit folder up, then move on to your next sound. So this is the uh, 16 by 16 floor tom. This is floor tom number one. How about medium? Nah, like. Uh. So once you hit the sound you like, once again, select, move down to the next space, execute, enter. All right. So back to menu, import, folder up. Time for 18 by 18 floor tom, so we'll select. Let's find the sound.
All right. Yeah, that extreme sounds cool. So we'll move down, next space. Once again, execute, enter. Now, one thing to show you, we now have a kick drum sound, a tom sound for each of the three toms, and a snare drum sound. One thing to keep in mind, as you are loading these sounds in, you do not need the SD card constantly connected into your module. Once they're all loaded in, you can remove your SD card and it'll keep them loaded into the module itself. You'll also see on the top right corner of the screen, it shows you how much space you have remaining in the memory of the module. So in this case, I've loaded up enough sounds. I have about 53% of the memory of the module still available for me to load additional sounds. So what I can do is actually unplug the SD card and let's say that heirloom snare drum, I can preview it because it's loaded into the memory. So now that all of our sounds have been loaded in, or at least the ones that we wanna use, let's go ahead and assign them to the different triggers on the kit. So we're gonna hit exit. Once you are here, you'll notice we're at number one and we don't wanna adjust the sounds of that. We wanna go all the way into the 50s, which is where the user kits are. So there's already sounds that I've put in from previous that are loaded into user kit number 51. But in this case, let's start from scratch. So we're gonna go to user kit number 52. Once you have your kit selected, you can go to user sample and go through the sample library that you already loaded. So in this case, if we go down to our heirloom snare drum, we wanna assign that. So we're gonna hit the assign button right here once you do that, you can select the snare drum. So you just hit the snare drum trigger. Once you hit that snare drum trigger, one thing to keep in mind, this here, HNR, means head and rim, meaning it's going to load the sound and play it whether you hit the mesh head or the rim. For a snare drum, sure, we have no problem with that. So we'll hit execute. It's gonna ask if we want to, you hit enter, so now when we hit that snare drum trigger, we have that sound that we just loaded in. Let's move on to the rack tom. So we'll hit exit. Let's go tom number one. So we're going to assign that to our first rack tom here. Simply tap on it. You'll see that the sound sample changes. Hit execute, enter. And now that rack tom number one is there. We're gonna repeat the process. So we'll go down to uh, tom number two, assign to tom pad two. So once again, hit it first. You'll see that it changes over, execute, enter. Now we have that sound. We'll hit exit, moving on to floor tom number three, hit assign go to the final tom trigger pad, hit it, then hit execute, enter. Now that's loaded in. All right, so we're gonna hit exit. Let's go up to our kick drum sound. Let's assign that. So you have to just hit, like everything else, your kick drum tower. That sounded terrible, by the way. Not sure why it sounds like that, but that is the sample that is loaded into the kit right now. Let's go ahead and hit execute and enter. That sounds a whole lot better. All right, so now that we have all of those sounds imported into the kit, we can hit exit a bunch of times and we are now at user kit number 52 with those sounds. So you may have noticed that there are no symbol sounds in this sample library, which is okay. We can use the ones that Roland already has installed. You may also notice that all of these drums are at different volumes. Once again, we're not using the extreme velocity for each one of the drums. We're using extreme velocities for some, hard velocities for others. So you're gonna hear that there's different volumes. For example, snare drum sounds a lot softer than say our rack tom or our kick drum. 
This is where you can dive into the kit and start making some of those adjustments. So if we hit the level button right here, we can hit our snare drum and you'll see it's default at negative three decibels. Whereas our kick drum is set to plus 2.6. That's a pretty big difference. So once you hit whatever sample you are looking to change, you then can use the center knob and turn it clockwise to raise the volume or counterclockwise to lower. We're gonna turn that down just a little bit. Mind you, I have the volume all the way up so you can actually hear what these sound like coming out of the Roland PM100 amp monitor that we have here in the classroom. Not too bad. I am also a big fan of not going into the pluses or positive decibels because I feel like it just gives you a little too much white noise. That's not bad. Let's move on to the rack tom. All right, so negative two. That actually can come down even lower. All right, let's move on to the next one. How about the last one? So we have all of our volumes now set. If you wanted to, you could start diving into panning. So our kick drum and our snare drum are pan center, which is good. Our toms are panned a little bit which is pretty neat. If you want to change those, you can. It's not necessary though. You can also, if you wanted to, adjust the tuning even further. So for example, we can hit our snare drum, we have our sample, and if we want to, we can pitch it up. Or down. I like the sound how it is, however. So we're gonna leave it at zero. But if you have a sound where you like the tone quality and it's pretty close to how you like it but you wish it was tuned maybe slightly higher or lower, you can do so within the module itself. You can even muffle. So if you wanted to, let's say, you know what, that rack tom sounds decent. However, I'm gonna be recording something that is supposed to be a little more lo-fi mono. I need dead sounding drums. You can lower the decay and make them completely dead. So here's what it sounds like now. Here's where it was because it was at 100. It rings out a little bit longer. Now there are already cymbal sounds loaded into this kit. If you wanted to change them, just like everything else, you hit whatever pad you want to change. So let's say the crash cymbal. And then you can scroll through and select what sound that you want. I like the darker sounding symbols on these Roland kits, in my opinion. So now I have two 18s. But if I wanted to, I can change the tuning of one. So if I go over to the right one, if I want that to be a little bit lower, I just turn it clockwise and it adjusts the size of the symbol. And now we have two different crash symbol sounds. How about the ride? That's not too bad, so we'll let that go. And finally the hi-hat, which is all out of whack, so you could see the module. All right, so those are all pretty decent volumes, levels, everything else. We have our sounds loaded in. We're now ready to play. Let's give it a run. Let's see what it sounds like.
there you have it. You can now load your own sounds into your Roland electronic drum kit. If you have any additional questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll try and help out in any way that I can. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. That way it makes it a little bit easier for others to find it. And that is it. Thank you so much for checking out this video on how to load your own sounds into your Roland electronic drum kit. And until next time, see you later.